Welcome. In front of me I have ROHS smartwatch and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button until you see the welcome message on the screen. Once you see the welcome message, you can release the button and wait until the watch uh, boots into a system. And after the watch turns on, uh, we need to make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled on our watch. To do it, swipe left on the screen to open the menu, scroll through the menu, find the uh, settings icon, and once you find the settings icon, tap on it uh, to enter the settings. In settings, you should see the BT settings option. Once you see it, tap on it, and here make sure that the power is set to on. If it's not, tap on it, uh, and it will be turned on, like this. And the visibility is also uh, required to be on. So if it's not, tap on it to enable it. And once you enable the Bluetooth and the visibility, you will need to download and install the Fandu a pro application on your iPhone. So uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Then open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar, type in Fandu Pro. And on the list of apps, you should see this application, Fandu Pro. Tap on it, tap on the Get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open. In the app, you will see pop-ups about permissions. The Bluetooth one is required, so tap on allow. This one is not required, but if you want to use the features like weather uh, and stuff like that from the location, it's recommended. And then we have the uh, option to connect to the local network. So if you want to connect your watch to the Wi-Fi network, I guess, you can allow or deny this permission. Okay, once you're done with the permissions, tap on more, tap on add device. Your watch should be on the list. This is the smartwatch, tap on it. And it will say connected right here. If you see this pop-up pop about the pairing request, tap on pair. Allow, allow or deny the permission for the notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. And that should be all when it comes to permissions. So once you're done with the permissions, it should say connected right here. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, open the uh, panel, you will see that this icon at the top is here, which means that the watch is connected with a phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.